All right, guys, today we're going to be looking at the Decay Oil Drums District by Mesh and Gun Studios. I meant to do this review a long time ago, but my laptop couldn't really handle the visual quality of what this asset offers. So I'm on the new laptop now, I'm going to run it, and we'll see what it looks like, and we'll talk about it. But so far, it's looking good. I compiled the shaders, and there's also a download content that goes with this. I did install it. I didn't look how to properly install it yet, but we're going to look at that as well. So let's dive right into it. So this is the main level you get. This is the oil drum district. This would be great for like a post-apocalyptic world. If I was to use it, I would probably use it for a cinematic because it is, it's a very, very high quality. This would be great for any kind of cinematics. Really good for gameplay as well. The only thing I notice with it is you're probably going to want to run this command right here. That is r streaming pool size and change this 3500 to like 4000. Because there is quite a bit of stuff going on there. And you don't really want to get that texture streaming over budget in the corner up here. Then it kind of like distorts how it really looks. So let's take a look right away. So just at a glance, this looks really good. You can tell the detail and quality that really went into this. Everything looks beautiful. Like the reflections in the puddles even, the dust. Just everything really comes together to make a really nice environment. You could do so much with this. You could really make an insane post-apocalyptic, even a small town. Anything at all. There's a couple of things I wanted to check out. Uh, I'm going to save the wind system for the last because I, when I add it in, I don't know if it's going to work or not because I didn't really look at the instructions that well. I just kind of downloaded it. So the first thing I want to look at and I'm excited to see is this power line generation kit that is supposedly with this. I haven't tested it yet, so bear with me. <laughs> so these power lines are based on... They have their own blueprint system, so BP underscore power line. So I'm going to go to their folder and I'm going to search for power line blueprints. I'm going to go to, I'll try both of them. I'm just going to drag this into the scene and see what happens. Actually, I'm going to drag it onto the ground. I kind of got hung up on a fog sheet there. So I'm going to drag that onto the ground. Just like that. Maybe put it down there. And rotate it around. I want my power lines to go this way. Now I'm going to go to my details panel. And how do we make this work? Uh, we are going to go to the power pole type. And you can select different power pole types here. I'm just going to add them like this. And you grab your other power line. And you drag it out. And where's the cables? I think I have to go the other way with it, maybe. Grab it like this. There we go. So you can drag the power lines out like this. And the cable automatically connects. And if you want to put another pole in there, I'm guessing you can just select the spline and add another point here. Yes, you can. So how cool is that? So we take no time to make an entire level with all your power lines connected. That's a that's an incredible idea. That's such a time saver. That is so cool. I remember making a little battle royale thing that I was working on. And I spent almost all day connecting power lines and connecting all the cables to it. This is just streamlines that so much. And you can add your own power lines in here, to my understanding, or your own power poles and stuff, too. They have different types you can add in, which is really cool. So, yeah, this will really, like, you could save days worth of work, depending on how big your level is, just with this system. That's really cool. I'm going to drag this in because I don't know what it is. I guess this is the same thing, but it's set up already for this level. Yeah, same thing. You can add in a spawn point. Yeah, so that is perfect. That saves so much time. 
Obviously, you wouldn't want to place it on your roof or through your meshes, but I'm just kind of displaying it for you guys to take a look at. So yeah, you'd want to position this around and put it where it should be. Probably not in the middle of the road either, but you get the point. The other thing I wanted to take a look at was there's customization for these buildings. So even if you're not using this map or any of these systems and you just want to take the buildings from it, you can customize every part of these buildings with the built-in customization for these for these blueprints that come with it. Like, for example, the roof, you can change that. I'm going to change it to blue to be extreme. Then it changes the roof. And you can just go through the se sections here. You can change all different elements. So you can change the tint of it. They have just a ton of customization. I'm going to do this one, for example. Come over here, this one's red. So I'm going to make a, a purple shed. Or a purple building. Same thing. I'm going to change the roof to be purple too and give it a tint. All kinds of customization options you can go through to really make these your own. I don't know if you want a pink shed. Maybe you would. Who knows? But it really looks great. So, the other thing I want to look at is that new lightning or, or sorry it's like a storm effects thing so what i did was i unzipped this in my content folder and it makes a new folder the sandstorm dlc in there there's a map and i'm probably doing this wrong so you probably want to look at the instructions first but i'm just going to add that level in as an existing level with from right here so right there maps in here and that adds it in, and it's giving me an error due to my lighting. So, I'm just for example, I'm going to delete my lighting out of here. By directional light or light source, one of them. I just want to take a look and see. I probably shouldn't have deleted my skylight, I guess. So, just directional light. There we go. That looks really good. You kind of got like a nice blow and sand effect. It really sets the atmosphere for what this is trying to achieve. So that looks fantastic. Also, if you're using this method to add it in, it may or may not be right, but you want to right click on it and go to change streaming method to always loaded or do it through the blueprints. That way, when you start the level, this effects will be there. So that is really cool. I love this atmosphere, I love the post-apocalyptic stuff, so I'll probably be using this shortly in either a way or a gateway to learn sequencer better, or just making a small little play around zombie survival type thing inside this post-apocalyptic little, little demo level just to see what it can do. So I look forward to that, I'll definitely be doing that. And also I want to talk one more thing with you guys before I let you go. But overall, before we do any of that stuff, I want to give this a rating. And I would probably give this a 9 out of 10 on the rating. The only, like the visuals are beautiful, 10 out of 10 for that. The developer is fantastic. He gets back to everybody on his Discord. He's more than helpful. And every single product from this developer has been stellar. I've never seen another author that puts out such quality work. Kitbash puts some stuff out, but I think this may even be better than any of the Kitbash stuff because it just works. There's custom blueprints in here. Everything is set up in such a way that it's tailored to the experience you want it to, to be in Unreal. So there's no... You're not really importing just assets and assigning stuff to it like other, other kits do. This one just works really, really well. So I just want to talk about that. All right, and I'm back. Sorry about that. I had a phone call that I couldn't miss. So, like I was saying, this is, is fantastic visuals. 9 out of 10 on everything. The developer is fantastic to support you guys. The only thing that I found that I would take away one star out of the 10 would be for you really need to have a banger of a computer to, to run it at its full potential. So that's why I say... For me, I'd probably gear it towards, like, cinematics, 
or like a high end next gen game because it is such such a I guess big set of assets. Like everything looks beautiful, looks fantastic on every level. So you could definitely use this in a game, but you're gonna have to do some performance tweaks. Like I'm running a 4060 graphics card. and I'm on high settings and my video memory is is exhausted but I mean you know it's, it's a 4060 series but it is what it is but without the VF without the visual effects and stuff it runs at like 60 FPS which is no problem but that's why I say if you want to combine all this you're gonna need a little extra horsepower on your GPU or you're just gonna to have to do some optimization tweaking with the mesh it's not a big deal so I'm not going to take, be too harsh with that because the environment looks beautiful and everything I mentioned. And the other thing I want to talk about before I let you guys go is there's also a huge sale on and it's on Humble Bundle. And this is for all of this studio stuff and all of this stuff is fantastic. I've used a couple of these. The Bizarre I've used. I've used the Medieval Village before on somebody's project. This one was next level. I loved working with this one, and I still do. And before I do anything, I'm actually going to add this to my cart and get the, their whole bundle of stuff because some of it's a repeat, but it's worth it because I really want to own all of it. But yeah, if you have six days to grab this. This pack it includes everything, and it's well worth it. And you're getting hundreds of dollars worth of stuff. It's AAA stuff very well optimized so i highly recommend it check out their discord check out some of their other products because it's just next level they're not joking with the triple a quality they really take it to the next level they look fantastic and hopefully this helped you guys and i will see you on the next one hope you're all doing well if you have any requests let me know